I bought something new for my bike, so hey, let's do a video about it. That's the great thing about YouTube. Share some products, share your reviews and ideas with products if they're a fail or they're a win. So I bought this Thule, I think it's a sports rack, about two weeks ago. Got around to fitting it about a week ago. Seen it on like a random photo on someone's bike on the internet on a, a surly karate monkey, I think it was. So I thought, oh, that looks a good idea. So I managed to find one through uh, through Amazon. So yeah, this is a Thule Sport Track. I'll put a link down below for some more information. And it purely relies on a ratchet system on the back here. So you've got like four ratchets. One, two, see the other one there. Three, four. Now, when I was fitting this, you get three of these um, bars here with it. For obviously for different bikes, depending on where you want to the rack to sit. This is the shortest one because it's on my road bike because the, the stays on the back are quite steep. Now, take note, when I put this on, I was pretty careful. These aren't the original nuts you get with it. You get these really soft, crap, shitty bolts and they round off really easy, right? Now, I'm pretty careful with stuff. I did end up putting one together and I don't know if there was a bit of swarf in one of the threads or something, but it ended up going in cross-threaded. Um, I ended up, ended up having to, have to drill it out. Now that was probably a godsend because I've replaced all of the bolts on here with, as you can see, super strong Allen key heads, which are um, a 5 mil Allen key with nylock nuts on the back. So that isn't going anywhere. So big fail on fuel on that part. You should really, really um, upgrade the rack to some sort of system like this because longevity and it's just it's just it's just a bit hash isn't it on a product like this it cost me like 75 pounds um and i just thought the thought that went into that was obviously nil in, in my opinion so otherwise let's get on to it it is a pretty good quality rack you've got a nice uh plastic base on top there to put some stuff on it's got some power cord on there at the moment holding two inner tubes on just to give you an idea um it does actually come in brushed aluminium, but I've sprayed it black, I've rubbed it all down, um, acid prep primed it, and just sprayed some satin paint on there just to go with my bike. I think that's pretty good. And then the ratchet system on here is dead easy to use. You get a um, couple of Allen keys with it. So you just do them up super tight. I mean, that ain't going anywhere. It's easy to get off as well. You get a special little tool, which you put in here just to release the piston, and then you can um, unlock the uh, the ratchet system. Now it does say be careful not to lose a special key that comes with it. Now don't get frightened, it's not the end of the world. You can literally put anything in there, like a small Allen key, a small flat screwdriver, just to release this piston there, it just needs to be pushed up. And then you better want to undo your ratchet system. So if you lose that little key, it ain't the end of the world. So uh, you might want to carry like a little nail or something with you or just a piece of strong... Uh, tube or something as long as it's small enough to go in there which looks it's like a four mil by two millimeters or something but you get the idea so all in all i'm pretty impressed with what it is but obviously it's let down by these uh these four bolts here one two and on the other side three four just low quality um fixings that you you give with your uh your fuel rack there um, not impressed with that. So if anyone else has got one of these, it'd be interesting to hear from you. I mean, I might, I'm just going to take this off tomorrow because I'm going to go for a ride and I don't want to really have the, the bulkiness. So I don't need to carry any extra stuff with me. So uh, that would be getting removed. But for some of my um, my solo night rides and things that I'll be doing, it's dead handy just to be able to carry a bit more kit, rain jacket or something. So again, thanks for watching. Just a genuine review. Um, let down by four bolts which again I got round, but not many other people will perhaps have the skills will be able to get round that and you'll be having um, lots of racks sent back. Um, so yeah, not a lot else I can say. See you next video. Bye for now.